In this video, I'm going to explain what MQTT is, how to get it set up within Home Assistant, and then also how to see all of the messages that are being sent to all the different devices. And as a quick bonus, I'm also going to show you how to make a custom Home Assistant sensor from an MQTT message. So let's check it out. Within MQTT, there are three main terms, the broker, client devices, and topics. And the broker is the intermediary or the middleman between all the clients that handles passing the messages along from one client to another. These clients communicate with the broker by sending or receiving messages on what are called topics. A topic is an agreed upon path that's stored on the broker that two devices can send or receive messages on. So if you have an Arduino and you want to send a message to a Raspberry Pi, you can send a message topic called Tom's slash smart slash home. And then you can have the Raspberry Pi receive a message on that same address. Topics are regular words, but separated by slashes if you need to be more organized. And you can get as crazy or as simple as you want with MQTT topics. So now that we know the MQTT basics, we're going to install an MQTT broker on our system. We're going to be using the Mosquito MQTT broker. Mosquito is fast lightweight and widely available for many platforms. The name Mosquito, it's likely a play on words with an actual Mosquito being small and lightweight and MQTT messages being small and lightweight. So we're gonna be using this one in our system. You can go to your Home Assistant settings and then over to add-ons and then over to the add-on store and you can search for Mosquito or you can just search for MQTT. They'll both show up no matter what. So after searching for MQTT, you'll see the Mosquito Broker add-on here. Go ahead and click on that and click Install. Make sure to toggle the Watchdog and the Auto Update toggles. Make sure those are enabled. So go ahead and click Start. And after a few moments, the add-on will get started. If you go back to the settings and go over to devices and services, you should see an MQTT option that's auto discovered. If you don't, you can go over here to the add integration and just search for MQTT. They both go to the same place. If you click add on the integration, and so you can go ahead and click submit. So now that the add-on is installed, it will drop us over here onto this main integration page. So go ahead and click configure. So before we do anything else, we need to test it and make sure that our MQTT broker actually works and can send messages from one topic to another. I have two windows open here. We're going to just make up a topic. You can make up any topic you want. And we're going to do test MQTT topic here. The payload is just whatever you want to send. So we can say test message here. Or the right hand side. So go down to this other box and down here on the bottom it says listen to a topic. We're going to take the topic that we configured up here for testing and just paste it into this box down here. You can leave the rest alone for now, and then you'll click start listening on this side. You'll then go back to the first side, and then you'll click publish. And on the right hand side, if you notice, message zero was received on such and such topic at this time with the message contents. And so we can test this again if we want to. And by adding whatever we want, we can see that it shows up here. When an MQTT message is sent to the broker can have different QoS or quality of service levels. So generally speaking within Home Assistant, all of the messages should be sent with quality of service level zero. This is just the basic message, send it to the broker and let the broker send it to everyone who's subscribing. There might be a few edge cases where quality of service level one might be needed if it's like a door lock or something of that nature to make sure that the message was sent and that it was received correctly, but Generally speaking, most devices and end users in Home Assistant should stick with quality of service level zero. Now there's also this retain option here in the MQTT settings. So what does that do? With the retain flag configured, the broker will remember the last message sent on a topic. And when new clients subscribe to a topic, they automatically get any retained message data. So at this point, we've installed the Mosquito add-on and we've verified that the add-ons broker can send and receive messages from within Home Assistant itself. But this brings up a question of how do we get devices outside of Home Assistant to communicate via MQTT with our broker? How does that part work? So to do that, we need to create a username and password. So under Home Assistant settings, you'll go to people 
and then you'll go over to users and then you should see your user account here along with some built-in home assistant ones and then you'll click add user and you'll choose the display name this is just the user-friendly name whatever you want to see show up on the screen so we just type mosquito and then it automatically takes that name and puts it into the username box for you so that's nice this is the password you will use on that other system to authenticate against your home assistant MQTT broker. Make sure that this local access only option is enabled and make sure this administrator option is disabled and then go ahead and click create. How do we figure out what topics are on our broker and what messages are being sent on them? Thankfully, there's an app called MQTT Explorer, which lets you inspect your broker and all of the topics on the broker for all the different messages that are being sent. So let's go ahead and get that installed. That way we can see everything that's going on in our broker. Unfortunately, directly from this blog, there isn't a Home Assistant installation method, but thankfully open source comes to the rescue. There's a GitHub project there. And so this will install MQTT Explorer within Home Assistant. So he offers a button here that you can click add to my Home Assistant. This will redirect to your local Home Assistant instance. It'll warn you basically, are you sure you want to open it in Home Assistant? You click yes. After you add that repository, make sure you click check for updates up here in the upper right hand corner. This will refresh the add on listing and we'll check the new repository we just added. Unfortunately, the only way to really check is for us to go to the add-on store and just search for MQTT Explorer and then see if it were added correctly. I kind of wish they would add a pop-up dialog box here or something that indicates that the refresh is happening. So maybe they can improve that in the future. But we see the add-on here and we can click install. As usual, enable all the toggle options here to make our lives easy and then click start. Now we added it to our sidebar so we can go over there and click on that. It will bring up this pop-up box. This is where we can connect with our username and password that we said earlier. This name doesn't refer to your username. This just refers to the name that you want to remember this connection by. So you can even just type home assistant like that. Make sure validate certificate is disabled and encryption is disabled. You can leave these the default values. The username, this is the username and password that we configured earlier. So we can type mosquito and then whatever the password is. Otherwise you can just click connect. Now at first it looks really empty and that's fine. We haven't sent any messages to our broker from another system, so we don't have anything to look at. So now that MQTT Explorer is installed, we need to have a an external device communicate with our broker using the username and password that we set a few moments ago. I'm gonna use the Raspberry Pi because I have one available. So make sure you have the Mosquito package installed on your Raspberry Pi or whatever system you're using to connect with MQTT. And so we can publish a command from another system to our Home Assistant MQTT broker by using the Mosquito Hub command. After we run the command on the screen, and if you notice, it showed a new topic right here called Tom's, which is the first part of our topic. And so over here in MQTT Explorer, we can actually expand this all the way down to our new message. So now that we've shown that external devices can send MQTT messages to our Home Assistant instance, how can we actually use those in automations? We can also create a custom Home Assistant sensor that we can use throughout Home Assistant in any automation or scripts. Here, let me show you how to do that. To do this, go back to the add-on store and install Studio Code Server. As usual, enable all these toggle options here and then click Start. You'll be greeted with this, do you trust the authors? Since we installed it within Home Assistant and there's nothing weird going on here, we can just click Trust the Authors and yes, I trust. So you'll, you will see a bunch of files over here you can click on configuration.yaml. Basically, you will leave everything here, leave it alone. Do not touch it. If you were to remove some of these, it would change how your home assistant behaves and you may not have all the options that you used to have and you wouldn't know it because you accidentally removed it from in here. So just leave these alone. What we will do, however, is add an option to this configuration section. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type MQTT and then we'll do colon. Under MQTT, you'll add two spaces and then type sensor. So now we're gonna type a dash and then we're gonna type name. And then this is going to be your sensor's name within Home Assistant. This is what you will see in your automations and in other spots in the Home Assistant UI. So we're gonna name this test MQTT sensor. And then on a new line under name, add two spaces and then you will type state topic. This will be the MQTT topic that your message 
will be sent on. So once we've added our state topic, make sure you save the file and then, and then that's it. You will need to restart Home Assistant. Okay, so after Home Assistant has rebooted, we want to go down here to the developer tools and we want to go to states and we want to search for test MQTT sensor. If it worked correctly, you should see it show up under the states menu in here. So it will currently say unknown because we haven't sent any messages on that topic yet. So that's what we're going to do next. So we're back to the split screen view. On the left, I have the same MQTT settings as we did earlier. On the right hand side, I have the sensor that we added in our configuration a moment ago. So if you click the more info button, that will bring up this box with some details on it. And we can see the unknown value as we saw before. So over here on the publish a packet section in the MQTT configuration, we're going to just type some payload. You can type whatever you want here. I'm going to type hello YouTube. I'm going to click publish. And then if you notice over here, our sensor changed values to based on what was published on that MQT topic. That is so cool. So if we go into our settings and then into automations, so we're going to create a test automation that uses that sensor as the trigger. So search for the state trigger. And then you, in here, you can search for MQTT sensor and you can see it right there. And then when the text changes to Mario Kart, we can then show a persistent notification. So back over here, when we publish Mario Kart, we can see that the notification shows up just like it did before. And then for the text Warrior World and we click publish, no notification shows up. You'll want to use custom named sensors like this in scenarios where your device has a really long, weird name, or you just want something a little more user friendly that you'll be able to remember what it is. That way you don't have to keep copy and pasting the MQTT topic and all the automations that you want to use it in. This keeps everything centralized and in one spot. This brings up an interesting question. If I'm trying to get my smart home started and I want something reliable to run my MQTT broker and Home Assistant on. What is the best option for me to use? The Home Assistant Green, which in my opinion is the most reliable Home Assistant hardware available out there for the average smart home beginner. So head on over here where I show you how to get that set up and I'll see you in the next one.